Hi guys, I know I haven't done a um, review and video for a while. Um, I've had stuff going on, I've been on holiday and college and work and stuff like that. But um, I'm going to do you one now and I'm going to do a request that I've had that said what's your end of June, beginning of July favourite products. And I'm going to say two products that um, actually fooled me. I didn't actually think I'd go for it. But um, it's the L'Oreal LV, um, L'Oreal Paris LV. Um, it's triple resist, uh, reinforcing shampoo. Usually I don't really like the L'Oreal LV. It's usually quite, makes my hair quite limp, um, quite dry. It makes it sort of flick out. I've just got back from the stables. I've just been doing my horse actually. So I'm a bit everywhere at the moment. But um, it gives you that sort of um, uplift and really soft texture. And that's just the shampoo. Usually I don't really sort of mix the conditioners with the shampoos that are the same. Um, I usually go for a different brand. I'll usually go for something like um, the Three Miracle um, Aussie conditioner that's really soft and stuff like that. But I'm really impressed with this because if I've stuck to the conditioner and I've stuck to the shampoo as well. Um, I really shocked myself, but um, it's really, really good. And it's only a small bottle. They're both only small bottles. Um, they're not that small for small, but it's the smallest you can get. And they're about like £2.8 each. And they're really, really good. I mean, my hair would judges all the shampoos. Pantene, it's just about all right with. Um, Tresemme doesn't really wash my hair. It just makes it quite heavy. Uh, herbal essence smells good doesn't do anything for me but um that lv stuff really works you get it out of boots tesco's um sally's um super drugs stuff like that um and any other supermarket like sainsbury's and stuff like that i think i already said sainsbury's i'm not too sure but um another thing i found out of boots um if you've been watching my other videos and like um reviews and stuff I've, i have been trying to sort of like get my hair in better nick it's really been doing it's really come along quite far now it's all flicky at the moment but um it's really like grown for me like all my layers and that have really started to come out my fringe is a bit more like ah! so it's all quite happy days um i was using the lee stafford um tub thing and that was seven pound 99 and that was um the hair treatment that made your hair grow past a certain length it's like this sort of size and it's like that much and um you have to use an exercise amount every time that you use it. For me, that got quite expensive and um, a bit of a pain, and it ran out quite quick. And to be honest, I was a bit let down by it. I mean, it worked for a while, but then once you start using it for a while, you have to stop, let your hair rest from it, and then start using it again. And I can't deal with all that with hair like mine. You know, I need something that's going to stick and work. So I used to walk around boots quite a lot, looking for all the least dapper stuff and makeups and um, bits and pieces. And I always sort of walk past this. It's called um, the Organic Root Stimulation Hair Mayonnaise. And this is in Boots. It's not like from any health shop or um, them health places where all they sell is nuts and raisins. and uh, Yeah, but you know what I mean. It's just from Boots. And um, it pretty much does exactly the same thing as the Lee Stafford stuff does. It's cheaper. It's £6. So, I know it's not massively cheaper, but it's bigger. It's the same like size, it's just you get so much more of it. And because I've got quite short hair, what's really good is you can see I've got quite a lot left. It's like here, <laughs> you get tons of it. And I literally only have to get like a really fine palm bit on my head and just go all like this on my roots, all down my roots like this, each side each side each side down and across and then like work it all way through your hair to the ends and it's a godsend it is so 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 good it smells nice i know the word mayonnaise kind of puts people off it's a bit like oh my god i'm gonna smell like an egg sandwich for my life but you're not gonna smell like an egg sandwich for the rest of your life it smells quite nice actually um but yeah it's really 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 good i'm really impressed with it you leave it on for 15 minutes which is a bit long, it's actually quite a lot longer than the Lee Stafford stuff. You have to leave the Lee Stafford on for like 5, 10. This you leave on for just 15. You put a plastic bag over your hair and then just put the hairdryer on it for like a few minutes, a few seconds, whatever. Um, on the hottest it will go, don't melt the bag on your head because that would be weird. But you know what I mean, warm it up. And um, I find if I put this on and then I put the plastic bag on my head, heat that up, then put a towel on my head, it sort of insulates it a little bit more. And that works for me quite well. 
And then what I do after 15 minutes of sort of sitting there, it, I'm not going to lie to you, it's going to feel horrible. You're going to be like, oh, it's never going to come out of my hair. Ew. But don't worry, it, it does come out. Um, and then what I do is I wash it out over the bath. I'd already shampooed it before, like from washing it, shampooing it, putting that on, washing it out again. And um, all you do is wa wash it out with water. Um, I find with that, um, don't condition it afterwards, just let it do its thing. And it's one of those products that you're really going to want to do if you're not going out anywhere the next day or that night. It feels really, when you wash it out, you dry it, it feels really, really, really heavy on your hair. It feels really greasy and it feels horrible and you're just thinking to yourself, oh my god, that was a waste of time, waste of money. It, it doesn't feel dry, it just feels really greasy and heavy and it looks it, to be fair. So it's one of them things that if you're going to do it, do it, but leave it for like the day and then like if you're not doing anything for the day or if you just bung it up in a ponytail or um, put a hat on. But yeah, um, and then the next day you wash it out and it's absolutely fine and your hair's normal, like back to normal and it's um, not to worry about. I know it sounds really negative and stuff but it's actually so, so good. I did it today and um, yesterday, sorry, I did it yesterday and I washed it out today and um, I, was, I was washing it out with this. Oh my god, it was lovely. I was sitting there, I was washing it, I was going, mm, it's really nice, and stuff like that. And then um, I put it in a towel, and just towel dried it, and then blow dried it. Oh my god, the ends of my hair feel amazing. My roots feel, oh, to die for. It's so, 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 so worth the wait of, like, half a day. Or even if you do it, if you do it at night, leave it, wash it, dry it, and then leave it for the night when you're asleep, wake up the next morning, and then wash it. It does the job. It's you can do that. It's so so good. I really recommend it. It's helped me already. I've been using it for about three weeks, and it's just helped so much. I mean, I thought that it'd be rubbish because of us thinking, oh, it's six pound. You know, it's big big chunk. It's called mayonnaise. Oh, I did it, and it's so impressive. If you seriously like, when you wish wish when you wish your hair when you wash it, like apply it here 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 and then leave it and all the way down, put a plastic bag on your head, warm it up, put a towel on your head, leave it for 15 minutes, wash it out, don't condition it, blow dry it, leave it for the night or the day, next day wash it, or even better if you want it to work even more, leave it for the next day and then wash it out after that.